Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm going to show you the second part of the tutorial on the split screen picture in picture, which is PIP. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the two videos I have here. I'm going to have a video here on the left side, and I'm going to have a different video on the right side with two different audio tracks. Uh, most people show you how to do it um, when they render it. They don't show you what it looks like when you have more video on the left side than the right side. Then you have your black bars on the left and right hand side. Um, they don't show you how to fix that. So basically I'm going to show you that also. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in HD settings or what what that calls to do that. It's, unless it's the track motion you would be messing with. So basically we're going to go with the fist first video and we're going to go get rid of the black bars we we'll go properties maintain ash bit ratio same thing with your second video okay now when I go where it says these grids this little cross hair thing uh, thing big bob um, says overlays if you don't see that, you chances are may see this. If you see that, you just go back to grid and you have this. I'll show you why I use this. Okay, go to your first video, go to track motion. Um, you don't have to mess with these settings. Uh, when you move this uh, left or right, this will automatically change, this will change. Um, basically the settings you need to make sure they're uh, highlighted is the pre prevent movement Y and prevent scaling Y. Those are the only two should be highlighted and the other rest of them should be unchecked except for edit and box and this little thing majiggy whatever you want to call it. Okay basically your first video will go to your left so you hold down your left button on your mouse and go to your Y and you can tell you're pretty much on when you don't see any dots here right in here like you do here so what we do is we call this preset we call this uh, left side we'll save that exit that you go to your second video same settings you don't have to mess with anything just go here at the corner and just drag it to the right she have the same thing she have no dots any long around here and we'll call this uh, right side hit save clear Okay, you, most people show this, you know, looks good and all that, but I'll show you the difference when you render it. So I'm going to hit save, go to file, render as. You can name the file whatever you like here. In the settings here, I got Windows Media Video 9, uh, 6.4 megabytes per second, HD 1080, 24p. So I'm going to save. Uh, I'm going to save this in 720. Okay, I'm going to hit save. When I hit that, see this is what you get. You get your black bars here, here. And you get more video on your left side than you do on your right. So I'll show you how to fix that. Hit cancel. Go back to my grids. Go back to your first video and I'm going to left hand click in the box and I'm going to use my keyboard arrow left arrow and I'm going to move it to this set of dots we don't see no dots and you're 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 good okay now I'm going to move the right arrow key on the keyboard four clicks to the right one two three four hit save close same thing with your second video. Go back to that. Left click. I'm going to move it to the right. 
Okay, now I'm going to move it to the left four clicks. One, two, three, four. Hit save. Close. Uncheck. Save. File. Render as. P. Save. Voila! And that solved your problem. It might solve a problem, but you might have a little black line right there in the middle of the video. Uh, you could tinker with that. You could get rid of it if you like. If not, then you know you could do whatever you like. Now I'm going to show you how to do the um, the videos up and down. So you basically just go back to preset everything you don't have to do all that just go back and go back here go to default go here default okay now you go back to your first video go back to track motion uncheck this now you want to click prevent movement X you want to click that Uncheck the cube Y and click the X cube. Now you pretty much same way. You want to, you could do it this way. Um, you want to where um, have no line. You don't want no dots. You want a straight line. Perfect, just like that. All right, now we can name this uh, up. Hit save. Close. Same thing with your second video. Uh, you could go down. You want to line up with your X, which is dead on. And we could call this, uh, whoops, down. You hit save. Um, it, you might have the same issue with the. Uh, black bars um, also your uh, not lining up correctly so we we'll just uh, we're gonna see what it does okay well that's that fixed uh, didn't have that issue like we had here when you went from left to right um, so this is pretty much it. You don't have to do the extra settings like the other. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you all have a great day.